so guys now we are left to discuss about the last pathophysiological category of the edema that is edema due to lymphatic obstruction so let's get started edema due to sorry lymphatic obstruction okay so as discussed earlier in the previous video i told that in normal condition the capillary hydrostatic pressure and plasma osmotic pressure balance each other and very very less amount of fluid from the from the vessels are from the blood vessels are released into or are or escapes into the interstitial tissue spaces and even that little amount of fluid escaped from the vessels into the interstitial fluid sorry interstitial tissue space is cleared by the lymphatics okay so any obstruction in the lymphatics will halt the process of drainage of the fluid from the interstitial tissue spaces which will lead in, lead to edema so the main concept is lymph lymphatics drain the fluid from the interstitial tissue spaces so obstruction to them will cause accumulation which will lead to edema okay so let's start uh lymphatics drain or clear the fluid from interstitial tissue spaces okay so obstruction to them okay what will it cause obstruction to them will cause accumulation of free fluid in tissue spaces yes okay i'll interstitial tissue spaces okay i just forgot to mention in the starting right so this accumulation what is this accumulation excessive and abnormal like accumulation is no of free fluid in the interstitial tissue spaces or serous cavity is known as edema i just now defined edema so that will cause edema result into edema fine so now what causes obstruction of the lymphatics there are various reason so let's discuss about them first is surgery during radical mastectomy removal of the axillary lymph nodes may cause edema of the superior extremity yes then obstruction oh sorry malignancies malignant cells they can obstruct the lymphatic channels yes or no so let's write uh, we'll discuss again we'll write it causes of obstruction of lymphatics mistake lymphatics you can understand the causes of obstruction of lymphatics yeah so first one i told was surgery 
surgery or removal of axillary lymph nodes during radical mastectomy may cause edema of superior extremities first cause second cause i mentioned was malignancies so malignant cells malignant cells may obstruct lymphatic channels okay the next cause is inflammation so in uh, example you can write inflammation example in filariasis filariasis is a disease what happens is in filariasis there is fibrosis of the lymphatic channels which will obstruct the lymphatic channels and due to excessive or ex excessive edema sorry of excessive accumulation there is edema in the external genitalia and the lower extremities and that is also known as elephantiasis okay so in filariasis nodes plus lymphatics fibrosis takes place which will obstruct the channels yeah and in severe cases there is massive edema in the external genitalia and lower extremities okay which is also referred as elephantiasis okay and edema due to lymphatic obstruction is also known as this edema due caused due to lymphatic obstruction is also known as lymphoedema okay
so the other causes include obstruction of the obstruction or compression of the thoracic duct or rupture of the thoracic duct and milrose disease we'll discuss in the next video as we cannot write it here